Nuclear medicine is just another branch of radiology. It's a little different way of looking at uh, the human body. So with conventional radiography, we're taking x-rays and we're passing them through the patient to a film or a detector. With nuclear medicine, we are instead injecting a small amount of radio tracer into the patient monitoring how the body interacts with that radio tracer. And then that radio tracer then passes through the body outside of it to our detector. We get to see how the body's interacting with that. We get to see a little bit more physiology as opposed to just anatomy. For example, PET-CT. We inject this radio tracer into your body. It acts like glucose, it acts like sugar. A lot of the times we do this to detect malignancy. Malignancy, cancer, tends to take up a lot more glucose than any of your other physiologic normal tissue. So when we inject this radio tracer, most of it gets taken up by the cancer, the malignancy. We can see when that comes out of the body and hits our detector, that shows up the brightest. We get to see where the cancer is. It's very cutting edge, it's very leading edge, it's very on the brink. There are some treatments that nuclear medicine radiologists do as well. So we treat thyroid cancer. We give a radioactive dose of iodine, which is literally just you swallow a pill, and then that cancer goes away. So it's literally saving lives, it's, it's healing patients, it's, it's a dramatic recovery. One of the radio tracers we use actually detects some of the protein and some of the plaque that's deposited in the brain during Alzheimer's disease. We can actually detect in early stages of Alzheimer's, at which point they can treat this a lot more effectively uh, and efficiently and prolong life. What I love most about my job is that I get to see patients heal. I get to see them go from being sick and on the verge of being very sick to healthy again. And that's really the sole purpose of a doctor is to, is to make patients healthy again.